Hello, this is Pamela here, and you are on the Crochet Adoring Doll Clothes channel. Today's tutorial is I would like to show you how to crochet an 18 inch doll pumpkin hat, and this will work for preemies as well. So if you have a preemie that you would like to uh, make this hat for, then you can work this pattern for it. It's a pretty easy pattern. It's just double crochet for each row. Uh, if you don't know how to make a curly cue, it's a single crochet, and I will show you how to make the curly cue. This is a little stem worked in the round, and it's stuffed with um, loose strands of yarn. So um, the materials that you will need is, some people like to use a row counter, I do, but I don't need to on this one because the stitches are pretty tall and I can count the rows that way. But um, if you need that, grab you one of those. Uh, this is a yarn needle. You will need this to weave in the ends of the yarn. Uh, some people use plastic, I use metal. The hook that we are using for this project today is a G hook that is a 4.0 millimeter hook. And you will need a pair of scissors. Okay, so let's get started on this. We're going to make a magic circle. And we are going to work nine double crochet in the circle. Here is this loose strand. I will crochet around it like this so I don't have to weave in the ends in, at the end of it, at the end of my project. So we're going to make nine double crochet in the ring of using, going through both, over both strands. So we have one, two, three, Four. If you don't know how to make a double crochet, I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you do. Um, I will be putting out a video on how to double crochet, but if you don't, since the whole thing is basically done in double crochet, I'll go ahead and go a little slow and um, for a couple of these stitches and show you how to do a double crochet. Um, so we have four so far. You do a yarn over, that's um, taking your hook and going, pulling the yarn over go into the round, grab the yarn, pull it up, and you have three strands on your hook. Grab the yarn again, pull through two, and then grab the yarn again and pull through one. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. Okay, so we now have five. Grab the yarn, go through the round, grab the yarn again and pull up. You have three. Grab the yarn, pull through two loops, grab the yarn, pull through one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab the yarn, go through the loop, I mean through the round, grab the yarn, pull up, grab the yarn, go through two loops, grab the yarn, go through that. There you go. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight and nine. You now have nine. And what I do with this is I will pull the yarn tight like this. And you slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. And that's how you slip stitch. And then chain one. And now we're going to work two double crochet in each stitch around. Let's see, just making sure I have nine. <laughs> okay, so let's work a double crochet in each stitch. There's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
And if you notice, I'm still holding my yarn and I'm crocheting over it so that I don't have to weave in the ends in the end. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We now have 18. Slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet and chain one. Now row three is going to end up with 27 du double crochets when we get through. So we're gonna do two double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next, two double crochet, the next stitch, one double crochet in the next. And it's going, you're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. And you're gonna end up with 27 double crochets. So let's start with the first. There's one, two in the same stitch, one crochet in the next stitch. One, two double crochet in that same stitch, and then one double crochet. Two double crochet, one double crochet. Two double crochet, one double crochet. Two, one, two, one. Now, if I'm going too fast for you, um, you can just put it on a slower speed if you want. But this is a pretty simple pattern. Yep, two and then one. Two, one. Now we're going to count, make sure we have 27. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now we are on round one, two, three. We are going to round four, slip stitch into the top of the chain of that first double crochet. Now round one, two, three. Round four says we're gonna have 36 double crochets when we get through. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna have two double crochets in the same stitch, one double crochet, one double crochet. And it's gonna repeat that all the way around. Two double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and just keep repeating that and you should end up with 36 double crochets. Okay, so we're going to start off with two double crochet in the same stitch. One double crochet next, one double crochet next. Two double crochet, same stitch. One double crochet next, one double crochet next. And you just keep repeating that all the way around. One, one. Let me pull me some yarn here. Two double crochet, same stitch. One and one. Two, so we got two in that same one. One, one, got our two in that same stitch, one, one, two, 
two, one, one. And this is uh, round four that we're working on. One, one. Before we slip stitch, we're going to make sure we have 36 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Okay. Let me turn my page here that I had my pattern written on. And we are on row five. Row five says, oh, this first you got a slip stitch into the top of the double crochet and chain one. Row five says we're going to do two double crochet in that same stitch, one double crochet in the next five, and you're going to repeat that pattern as well. So it'll be two double crochet this stitch. One, 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 one. Is that five? One, two, three, four. Yes. So one double crochet in the next five, and you're going to repeat that. Oh, and you should, on this round, end up with 42 double crochets. So let's do a two double crochet in the same stitch. One double crochet in the next five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have the two in that same stitch. So let's repeat this again all the way around. And we have two double crochet in the same stitch. One double crochet next five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, and then the one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, one, Two, one, two, three, four, five. And there is, yeah. I feel like there's something on my there. Whatever it was, I got it. Okay. One, two, and then one in the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and then two in the next. One, two, and then one in the next five. One, Two, three, four, five, and you will slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet. Now row six, we're going to double crochet, one double crochet in each stitch around. See, it's starting to look like a little hat now. So you want to do one double crochet in each stitch around, so that means you should have 42 double crochets and so that you don't have to watch me do this I'm probably going to crochet a little fast faster rather that's one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I mean, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Oops, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. Let me see. Let me recount this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay, so I guess on that between that 14 and 15, I must have miscounted there. Okay, we are now, see how you can see your rows? One, two, three, four, five, six. We are now on row seven. Row seven, you're going to end up with 36. So we're fixing to do some double crochet two together, or you can call them decreases for row seven. So after you slip stitch, do your chain one. Now we're going to double crochet two together. So you just do your um, yarn over. You have the three, go into the next one, yarn over, go through three, yarn over and go through your two. So that was one double crochet, but you did two stitches together. So after you do that, you're going to crochet one in the next five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to repeat this all around back to the start. Okay, double crochet two together. Like that. Double crochet one in the next five. So there's one, two, three, four, and there's five. Now we're going to do a double crochet two together. Double crochet one in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do a double crochet two together. There we go. Now one double crochet in the next five. That's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to do one uh, double crochet two together or decrease. There we go. Now we're going to do one in the next five. It's one, two, three, four, 
five. We're going to do double crochet two together. And then one double crochet in the next five. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch into the top and chain one. You should have 36. Row eight, we're going to do some more double crochets. We're going to end up with 34 double crochets in this round. So we're going to start off with double crochet two together. One. And this time we're going to do one double crochet in the next 10. And we're going to repeat that around. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold on, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to do double crochet two together. Just like that. One double crochet in the next ten. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to double crochet two together. Now one double crochet in the next ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet and chain one. Now row nine, we are just going to single crochet around and you should have 34 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, well, I'm not sure where, but it should be at least 33, 34. Should have probably been 34, but it doesn't matter. That's the edging, and you just tie it off. Look like this. 
And then there's your inside. See where I took that around? So now I'm not having to weave that in, but we are going to have to weave this in. So for this, you take your yarn needle And this is the way I weave mine in. I just go through here so it gives it that nice smooth look instead of a V. And then on the inside, I just go through there, but see I'm not on the, you don't see my needle. It's just going through the first set and I just pull it. And then I take it back a tad bit and then go back and do that again. And then that's all I do. Then we're going to cut off the excess. Okay, so now you have your hat. And there we go. So you have the hat. It fits her. And it's got that little single crochet edging around it that kind of tightens it up. So now we're going to work on the stem. And the stem, we're still using the 4.0 millimeter hook. And we are done with the brown yarn. So we're going to be using this here, green yarn. Like I said, I used lime green. Carly Q's, are, um, oh wait, well, I'm sorry, we're doing the stem. Let's go to the brown, I'm sorry. Let's do the uh, stem first because that way we can put it on and then we can put our Carly Q's on. So, on the um, stem, we're still using the 4.0 hook, just using brown yarn, and we're going to chain 10 and leave you a long tail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're going to slip stitch to this beginning chain here. It's really hard to see because it's brown. And then you're going to chain one. You're going to single crochet around so there'll be 10 single crochets. And I guess I'll leave that tail this time. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then row two is you're going to single crochet around you're gonna do 25 single crochets. So if you want, you can continue or you can slip stitch in that beginning single crochet if you want, and then you can start your round from here, but you're gonna do 25 single crochets going around. Okay, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And now we're going to single crochet two together six times. It's one, and it's gonna get tight. So, because it's closing up is what you're doing. Two. Three. 
three. four, five, six. There's a tad bit of a hole still there, so I'm going to do it one more time just to really make it tight. Okay, and what I do from here is you're going to need leave a long tail because you're going to sew it or slip stitch it all around on the top of the hat there. So there's this. Turn it inside out. And you've got your little brown stem. You can take that little tail that I said go ahead and leave. You can tuck that inside. Um, cut you a little bit of yarn here. You don't want too much because you don't, it's not that big. So just enough to kind of stuff it a little bit like that. And what we're going to do, see that circle right there? We're going to basically slip stitch all around. See how I made that where it fits perfectly on top of that circle. So you have a kind of like a line to go by. So take your yarn needle. And let me find the back of the hat because I like the back of mine. I think that's my back. So basically I hold it like that. See, yeah, you can see that in there. And I just go in between those stitches like this. And I go back in like this. And I just do this all around. just like that don't worry about smashing it it'll fluff back up if you got to smash it to work with it like I'm doing Yeah, just like that. See how cute that is? Now you can turn it inside out and weave in the yarn so that nothing comes back. See how I weaved it once that way and then I go back and then I just weave it again. And then I cut off the excess yarn just like that. We now have a cute stem. It is so cute. Okay, there's the back of the hat. Now we're going to do these two cute little curly cues. So now we get to work with that green yarn that I wanted to work with while ago. The curly cues are really easy to make. You're gonna make two of them. Use the same 4.0 hook and you're going to chain 10. Uh, leave you a little bit of a tail. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do uh, two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So there's the first one. So we're going to do two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. One, two. And then three single crochet in each of the chains all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. Two, three, one, two, three. 
One, two, three. And it is curling up on you, so you'll have to, because it's doing its job, so you have to work around trying to not let it curl up on you, on your work part. One, two, three. Because you got to try and keep it straight. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then the last one. Come on, come on. There you are. One, two, three. And you can take and kind of curl it up like this. There you go. Now, wasn't that easy? You made your first curly cue. I just think they're adorable. So cut you a long strand because you're going to need to sew it on there. And then what? You take that, pull it, and then what I do here is I go ahead and tie this in a knot. I take the shorter one that I started with and I put it the yarn needle. And I go ahead and just weave it in here a little bit. And then weave it back. And then I use that one tail to tie it on. Okay, we're going to make another one. So we're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember, you do two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So there's one, two. So you do two single crochet. One, two. Now we're going to do three single crochet in each chain to the end. So it's one, two, three. One, two. Three. You can do so much with curly cues. You can even make doll's hair where if you want the doll's hair to be curly. I mean, there's so much to do with curly cues. Ponytail holders. So if you learn to make a curly cue, I think you'll enjoy it. You'll have a lot of fun with them. One, two, and you can use different hook sizes to get the different size of curly cues that you want, obviously. And then you don't have to do three in each chain. You can do two. I mean, you could just mix it up however you want to. Okay, my last one. One, two, three. Okay, we are about done. Tie it off. I'm going to take this, tie it, get my curly cue going here, get the shape. And let me see. There we go. Curl that baby up. Okay. Take our yarn needle. Now I go through the back side. I think that's the front. Nope, that was the back. There, I'm gonna go through the back side. Weave it in. Kind of weave it back. And cut that strand off. Okay, now we are ready to attach these to the hat. And um, you can put them on both sides. Now, here's a little trick. If you lay it this way, 
the hat, the curly Q kind of stays flat. If you lay it that way, the curly Q sticks up. So you want it to lay on the back side. See how it lays down flat? So all you do is you just, you're gonna put um, one on each side. Very simple to attach. Of course, I'm a seamstress, so this is like just sewing or something to me. And if you want, you can um, actually do a couple more stitches down if you want to, to help hold it down. And then just weave in the ends, like I showed you earlier. Tie off. And you got one curly Q on there. Now we're going to attach the second curly Q. And remember, if you lay the flat side down, the curly Q will lay flatter. So we're just gonna put this on the opposite side of the other one and just attach it, just like we did the first one. And you are about to have you an adorable little pumpkin hat. Like I said, you can use this for preemies as well. And let's just weave in the ends here. Here we go. Looky there. You have made you a pumpkin hat. Isn't it adorable? Let's put it on our doll. Kind of get an idea how she looks and like I said if you want you can tack those down some that's up to you but here we go there it is just adorable so if you like this video uh, please like share subscribe um, and uh, if you got any questions just um, email me at info at adoringdollclothes.com you can visit my website for all my patterns um, at adoringdollclothes.com and um, appreciate you taking your time to watch this video and enjoy. Thank you.